homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, seven to four. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did. Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380 foot marker, David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run, 10-2 Red Sox. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, now, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's a rare breed in today's game. He doesn't rely on the strikeout. He's averaging less than seven strikeouts per nine. So they're going to put the ball in play on him. He's a guy that's going to use his defense. It's almost like a throwback to yesteryear. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Ground ball left side. And this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? Well, you get ahead of the leadoff batter 0 and 2. Then you give up a base hit 0 2. Exactly. Not the way you draw it up. He's going to have to seven. figure out a pitch to put Mike guys Cal away, or Mark this will be a short outing for him. Coming to the plate now, Michael Franco. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1 and 2 now. 1 and 2, here it comes. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Calling for it, Conforto. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Time now for a Adding glance first. at the Phillies' batting order in this one. H, how do they bounce back and avoid the dreaded sweep? Well, Matt, the first thing that I thought about why they're struggling winning games is they're out near the bottom slugging. When you're not driving the ball and being able to score runs with power, you're going to have a tough time winning games, and that's this club right now. They're going to have to figure out some way to inject some power into this offense and get that slugging percentage up. Stepping up to the plate, Odubel Herrera. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. A runner on first with two away. Out of play. And another foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Aaron Nola will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? 
Well, Matt, his last outing, he gave up four walks. Now, sometimes I think you nibble on the corners when you need to. I just thought he didn't have good stuff or good command. So we'll see what the command and execution looks like in this game. Now at the plate, Curtis Granderson, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Fastball called strike one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson and that's the first down of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows let's meet the Mets. HR what do they need to do to complete the sweep. Matt this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out they're going to come at you running. They're going to run to first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd oddly enough. One out nobody on. And he missed with that one it's ball four a one out walk here in the home first. And with the bases empty you don't feel bad about walking that guy he's capable of taking deep every time he digs in so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Into the box Joanna Cespedes he's not among the league leaders in home runs but his total does top this ball club. And he misses two and one. Harold, these fellies as they begin play here today, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, man. I mean, this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in a series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to get one win in this place as they get ready to get out of here. Matt, here we are. Double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that sinker. Maybe get a ground ball and get two, right? But he comes with the fastball right there. Now nobody knows what to see. This is going to be an interesting at bat. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Settling in now, Michael Conforto. His pass line against Aaron Nola. He's one for two. He's taken him deep once. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Hit out toward second to his right, Hernandez. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets strand one. Still no score. Standing in, Andres Blanco. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Here comes the payoff pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Granderson. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Here's Howie Kendrick. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. No score here as we play inning number two. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Liner towards second. And Kendrick has a base hit. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow can you be? Digging in, Chris Coughlin. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping into the box, 
David Wright. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. The 2 2 now to right. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Herrera's there. Makes the play one away. Batting set. Here's Lucas Duda now. He comes into play with the batting average in the respectable 270s. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Standing in now, Rene Rivera. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Summersgill's a little notorious. For and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back to daytime baseball on the show from City Field. Thanks for joining us. So striding in, Cameron Rupp. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Whoa, Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Bad call up. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Now at the plate, Aaron Nola, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Oh, Digging in to try it again, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in, TJ Rivera. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Coglin on the move. He's there and records the first down. Batting ninth. Patrick. Happy to have you along here on the show on a fine Sunday afternoon as you take a look at our upcoming schedule for the week to come. Now with the plate, Stephen Matz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera's there. Two gone. Now batting. Center it is fielder. Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Granderson waits on the one two. And this is fouled at the plate. Here he comes again one two. A swinging bunt to the mound. And a close play at first but he's called out and the side is retired. 
So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied nothing nothing. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Hit out towards second. Rivera picks it up. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So with two gone here in the fourth let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters and you can see that both guys are well into the 90s 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. One and two now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that misses two and two. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Riding in once again as Drubal Cabrera. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against well, this guy, but at least they have a base runner Yo, here. Gonna... We'll see if that leads to something. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Oh, tough pitch. Things just not going his way on the mound right now. Three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. He's set. Here's the three one. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Let's keep the inning alive. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of right swings fielder, and misses with that 30. pitch unless it's really Michael, moving. So that one Michael. must have had some real good late life. In now, Michael Conforto. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Waiting in the on-deck circle is David Wright. Here it is on three and one. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. 
Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, and a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a miss strike three as right is gone for at number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. Here's Lucas Duda now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Popped high in the air. Hernandez settles under it near second. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. A couple of walks but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Payoff pitch one more time. Chop fouled over towards the dugout. The next 3 2. Hit hard to short. Backhanded. And he got him at first on a ball that was already into left field. That's a heck of a play to get the first out. Howie Kendrick. Here's Howie Kendrick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now, can he get guys out from the stretch? He retired a lot of guys in a row out of that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Stepping in now, Chris Coglin. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. Ball two. Runner at first here, one man out. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Rivera is there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Ready for another Not chance? Bad. Cameron Rupp. 0 for Cameron. 1 for him here in this Rupp. one. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rene Rivera looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A breaking ball swung on and missed and he sat down for the second time this afternoon. I'll tell you he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone they don't have an answer for it. Now a curveball is in there one and two now. Well, that pulled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hoglin there to grab it as that becomes out number two. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go right there. A big goose egg in that hit column worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Digging in for his second at bat, Steven Matz. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Dude. 
swing well. and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting as a pitcher. Why not better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. That's a hit the first of the game for the Mets. Hey Matt it's fun to watch good pitching don't get me wrong but man I want to see some Better offense I'm a hitter Number I like three. run score fifth Ernest. inning about time they got a hit. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson he gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah and that hit might not amount to much but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Granderson waits on the 1-2. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to 2-2. Two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Nola comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Here's another two two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Hernandez. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Throw to first is in time, so a good idea, but the bunt attempt doesn't pan out. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. Digging in once again, Michael Franco, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. Boy that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's going nice in the game but that pitch was filthy. No runs two hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Misses ball two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Rivera scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. A couple of walks for him thus far. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Herrera on the run. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out well, of the no inning. 52. Here's Joe Jonas Cespedes. No hits Pettis. in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. He's been doing a nice job out there in the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you, this is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Two and two count. Here it comes. 
And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Michael Conforto will be next. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that at the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt. Runners on first with one down. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. We're through six full, and we still have no score. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this one point. Ball. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The one and two pitch. Tapped up the first baseline, but it gets fouled. He'll try again, one, two. Hit out towards second. Rivera brings it in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. First baseman, number 19. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Late that time for a strike. Oh, man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Number four, shortstop. Andres Ready once Blanco. again, Andres Blanco, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Phillies down in order. We are still scoreless. Digging in to try it again, David Wright, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready with another 2-2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Ready for another chance? Lucas Duda. He is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air to straightaway right. Coglin is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Riding in once again, Rene Rivera. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away.
One and two now as that's in there at the knees. One and two, here it comes. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. And Kendrick squeezes it for out number two. Up next for the Mets. Second At the plate, T.J. Rivera. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He's set. Here's the three and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The 3 2, one more time. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Who come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 19, Shane Bruce. Two down runners at first and second. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Another payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave in a tie ball game, but he's also responsible for the three men on base, and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. Hector Neris answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. It is Curtis Granderson. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt especially when you're kind of due to do something productive trying to hang a zero here's the pitch two and one well right here he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation he's got the power hitter at the plate and you got two balls he's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit you know he's zeroing in now this is on the ground a second is he going to get out of this over to first he does get out of it and the inning is over Mets leave him loaded still no score Hansel Robles has been summoned from now the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 47, Ansel Robles. Digging in and looking for more, Howie Kendrick. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up on the backhand. 
Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. A look there at the numbers for our two starters here today, with both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. Now at the plate, Chris Coughlin. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's 1 and 2. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Look yeah, out. That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. Our line score there says it all to this point, or if you prefer, it doesn't say anything. Nothing, nothing, our score, as you start to wonder if anyone's going to play to run in this one. Michael Saunders will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. The one and two pitch. Lays off. Two and two now. Two out. Nobody on. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Three up. Three down for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jenmar Gomez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Roman Quinn is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Ryan Hennigan will come on as well as a part of a double switch, so we'll have a completely new battery here. Hennigan. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. Couple of walks for him thus far. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Here it comes on one and one. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Again a one two. And here's a swing and a miss from Cabrera as he set down on strikes and there's one away. Well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days pitching has become a full staff effort and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Here's the pitch. The high fastball is in there. One out, nobody on. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounded to the right. He's got it. And now a jump throw against his body. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Third baseman, number five, David. Standing in, David Wright. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. And a split-fingered pitch catches the zone 2-2 two and two now. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Oh, fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Mets strand one. We are still scoreless. J. Reese Familia 
Putnam's on now. now. He's just hoping York to Mets. keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. So stepping in, Roman Quinn as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Ready with the one and one. Now a bunt attempt here, and Wright will smartly make sure this stays a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Two one here it is over at the knees and that's the second strike in my opinion there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field gone and with two out in the ninth they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left number 11 for him on the season and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, Odubel Herrera. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two and two count, here it comes. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. And some dramatics here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives them the lead. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia. Pat Misha comes on looking for now a save for here the in the Philly. bottom of the ninth inning. Number 17, Pat Misha. Coming to the plate now, Lucas Duda. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready on one and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. So, batter, so striding in, Rene Rivera. Rivera. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. 3 and 0 pitch on its way. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Striding in, T.J. Rivera. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Neil Walker will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. Go, go, go. 
Runners off for second. Pitch outside. The throw. He's out. Right on the bag, and Reyes is out at second base. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Philadelphia Phillies claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Jenmar Gomez gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Pat Neshek wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. One run on three hits. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall. And it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field. And each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. Here's the 0-1. Story.